What's up, y'all? What's up to my little dynasty crew? It's your girl, Tiffany, and I'm back at it. I'm back at it with some more content, y'all. And this time, it is going to be a little sit-down video, but I am. I am going to bring y'all into my world. I have to be at work in like 45 minutes, so I'm going to take y'all with me and finish my video there. I'm just not going to sit here all the time. I know that's kind of bored. I know... I'm nosy. I know some of y'all out there nosy. I want to see what your girl doing. This, this sit down is all cool and all, but I do need to get my broadcast up and then I can sit down and record and do all that. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to vlog plus talk shit plus do my seven ways, seven choices. I don't know. Figure out how I'm going to intertwine the two, but we're going to figure it out. All right. So if you haven't already, man. Go ahead, tap it with your girl. I've been dropping videos after videos. So I'm gonna keep dropping videos after videos, especially this month. I got some good stuff that's going on, going down in my life this month. If you guys don't know, your girl is about to be a grown. Yes. So we will be doing a ginger reveal on this channel. Um, we'll be doing that probably this weekend. My daughter-in-law birthday is on Sunday. No, her birthday is on Monday. My mother-in-law's birthday is on Sunday. So I have two birthdays this weekend. So yeah, let's go ahead and just get started in this video. I'm just so excited as y'all can see. I'm just talking, talking, talking. So if you guys haven't read by the title of this video, this is just seven. This is just seven things your girl had to go through. Seven things God put me through so I could realize. Just seven memorial stones that I'm about to share with y'all. All right, so let me check my messages. All right, so let's get right into this video. All right, you guys, so the first thing that's on your girl's list, I'm going to go ahead and get this little list started so I can get to work, and I'm going to finish some of them there. I'm going to pop me a bottle tonight with you guys, and I'm going to finish it off like that. All right. So the first thing that's on your girl's list is just going through the struggles that I had to go through. Your girl's about to be 40 in a couple of weeks. October 25th is my birthday. So for the last 40 years, you know, I have been a single mom. I've been a teenage mom. I have been abandoned by the ones that I love. I had had childhood traumas. A lot of stuff that brought on anger and just, just, just a lot of anger and bitterness that I had to go through. And now sometimes I pinch myself because I can't even believe your girl went through the stuff that I went through. You know, I can't believe that I was angry for so long. And I just thank God that I did go through those struggles. I did go through teenage pregnancy, having my son at 15. I did go through the things that I'm going through and still going through with my daughter being sick and having seizures. You know, I've just felt like I had to go through that. I had to go through that so I can seek therapy. That I completed therapy. I went to therapy for about four to five months, completed that to the point my therapist was like, you don't need this no more. I see a 360 degree change in you. Let's do other things. You know, so I had to do that. I had to get closer to God in order to feel this inner peace that your girl really have like this is something that you cannot pay for this this piece that I have right here can no one take this piece from me no one you know I've, I've been angry I've been bitter I've been all those things that the world put on us and I'm past that I'm past that. So that's the first thing. You know, the struggles I went through, I just thank God I went through them because it got me closer to him and got me to seek therapy so I could forgive those that did me wrong and pray for them and then move on. All right? So that's the first thing. All right, y'all. So we are on the second thing that's on my list. And the second thing that's on my list is, hold on, I forgot. Hold on. Okay. The second thing that's on your girl list is just, I thank God, man. I thank God, and this is a, a memorial stone that I want to talk about, and that's just giving me dreams. Um, I have always dreamt of being some kind of entrepreneur, some kind of business owner. All my jobs are always been attained of making my own money, pretty much making my own hours. Um, right now, I'm a server. I'm a bartender and a manager at this wine bar where I'm going to take you guys to in a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to take y'all. I'm going to finish my video there. 
But, um, you know, I just thank God for um, him giving me the opportunity to dream. But now my dreams are literally, literally turning into nightmares. Like, I cannot escape these dreams. I cannot escape me cutting on my camera and making content for you guys. I cannot escape the dream of, that I wanted to be to a broadcaster. Um, I cannot escape the dream that I'll let you guys see in some future videos of me designing my own clothes and me making t-shirts and hats and all that good stuff that I got set up in the garage. I would not, I can't get away from them. I just can't get away from the dreams that God has put in my heart. They're literally turning into nightmares. So I'm thanking God now that he has given me the ability to go after my dreams. Right now I'm working for a woman who decided to open up a wine bar during the pandemic two years ago. She dreamt it and it's really a reality for her. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm glad God put her in my life. She's like a mentor for me and don't even know she's a mentor. So Miss Tyra, if you see this video, just know you are really an inspiration to me. That's why I'm going to take care of your bar and your dream like it's mine. So thank you for that opportunity. But back on to this video. I just thank God for giving me the opportunity and the ability to dream. So for any dreamers out there, man, keep dreaming. Don't never stop dreaming, but you have to put in the footwork. Because if you don't put in the footwork, I'm telling you, your dreams will turn into fucking nightmares. It'll be like you'll be running from this dream like, oh, I'm just going to go to work. I, I'm going to do this 9 to 5. But in the back of your head, you know it's something deep down inside that you should be doing. You know that your life is a little bit more than what you're doing. Now, I'm not I'm not talking bad about anybody that want to clock in. I'm not talking bad about anybody that want to do the 9 to 5 or do be in a rap race or do whatever. Just do whatever you have to do and be the best at it. I'm not talking down on anybody that clocks in. It's just not for me. It's just not for me. I'm clocking in right now just because I have to pay for my dreams. At this point, I have to pay for my dreams. So, I thank God for giving me that opportunity, the ability to dream. But right now, my dreams are turning into nightmares. So, that's Memorial Stone. But I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All right. We're almost on the number three. And then after that, I'm going to take y'all to my Jizza. And I'm going to buy me a bottle and pop it. All right. All right, y'all. So, the third thing that's on my list. And then I'm going to get on up out of here. And I'm going to take y'all with me but the third thing on my list is just just giving me the opportunity and the ability to go out and get a job that's one thing about me once i put in the application once i get the interview i already know i have the job i can get a person a job in a week i could get you the job i could get you the job or I could get you to interview, but it's up to you to get the job. You know what I'm saying? I can't interview for you. But I could definitely get you to interview. So when I was back on my journey of trying to get a job, I did apply for the Olive Garden. Got that job in no time. I had to let the Olive Garden go. I will tell y'all about that story in some more videos down the line. But I did have to let the Olive Garden go. And it was good money. I was making five, six, maybe... $700 just Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The tips alone was amazing. Um, so don't get me wrong. And then I end up finding another job. I was start working at this wine bar called Dollar Vino. And it's on the Marino. So I was doing both jobs for a minute. But I was just working, working, working. And at that time, I was finding everything around me to be upset about. Um, the girl at my co-worker said something to me. Now I'm tripping on her. Or... I did forgot my apron. Just every little thing I was finding to be upset about. And it really didn't have nothing to do with the job. I had to do something with those dreams that I told y'all that was turning to nightmares. And things was like running after me. So I was just finding everything to be upset about. So the, my memorial stone, my third memorial stone is just I thank God that he gave me the ability to get back to the working scene. You know what I'm saying? Not get one, but get two jobs. I had two jobs at one point of a time. And um, I just want to thank God that he gave me that, uh, that ability. Right now, I'm working for a lady, like I said, um, who started the wine bar. And I went in there to be a server. She asked me to be a manager. And the managers are bartenders, too. I've been a server for over 10 years. Never wanted to be a manager. Never wanted to be a bartender. That's just not my stilo. But this lady seen something in me. 
that I didn't see him myself. So I have the keys to the restaurant. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm a manager now. And I think that dream alone, I think God is just preparing me for my own dreams. Like I said, I always wanted to be a business owner. I will be a business owner. I will on my own one day. But in the meantime, in between time, you have to go through the baby steps. And I think this was the opportunity God gave me right here to show myself, to work, to help Miss Tower with her dreams so someone can help me with mine. So I thank God for that. I thank God for not only giving me one, but he gave me two jobs. To where I make good money, I'm a server. So, and look at me. Look at my personality. Like, why would you not want to tip me good? But yeah, so that's that's about it. I'm about to get ready. Go ahead. I got another 30 minutes before I have to go to work. It's going to take me 15 minutes to get there. And I will finish the next four. I'll try to do some at work. I'll probably bring them home. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't structure my videos. I just pick my camera up and record. So thank you for sticking with me. Don't leave me to yet. Not yet. Just yet. I'll be right back with number four, five, six, and seven. All right, y'all, so, like I said in my previous uh, scenes, <laughs> that I was going to bring y'all to my world, so I'm a little early for work, I'm like five minutes early, but I did want to do my number four thing that's on my list, my job is right back there. And y'all, I work with my daughter, so she's the buster and I'm the manager. But yeah, I wanted y'all to see the view of what I be experiencing when I be coming to work. And I just want y'all to let let y'all know my number four thing that's on the girls list of just my memorial stones that I had to go through to get to where I'm at right now. So the number four thing, y'all, is you know sometimes we go through badass relationships and no good people that come into our life but they always teach us something they supposed to i know all the bad relationships that i had Ooh, your girl i know all the bad relationships that i have had i know they all have taught me something so one thing that i know that it has taught me is i know what i don't want so i thank god you guys for actually giving me all those bad relationships and all those relationships that I thought was gonna last I'm glad they fucked up I'm glad they did what they did because God brought a good man into my life so I'm glad he did that I'm glad he brought all those fucked up people in my life all the cheaters and the no goods and all them all that good stuff you know because having a good man taught me how to be a good woman you know what I'm saying him bringing a good man in my life taught me to be a good woman so there you go that's the number four thing that's on my list got my glasses on y'all and that's just the memorial stone that i had to overcome you know going through all those bad relationships and god bringing the man that i have in my life we've been together 10 years we're not married right now we're both working on other things and working on ourselves but yeah it is what it is so i'm glad i had to go through that just so i can know what i don't want how you doing today sir so i'm on my way into work and yeah i'll talk to you guys in a minute what's up to my little dynasty crew it's your girl and i'm back i'm back with the same video just a different time of the day just go go ahead and finish this video it is 11.15 and I'm just now getting off of work, so I'm about to chill. And my favorite thing that I'm going to be sharing with you guys weekly. Just going to have a little wine club on my channel. So this right here is called, it's from Ball Bousset and it's the Cremant de Lori. And it's the bubbly rosé. And the bottle that's, that we sell in our bar is a $40 bottle. So this was $40. And then, of course, I get a manager's discount. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this with you guys and finish the video that I started earlier. So it's six times around. 
show y'all how a real one do it. You know, I'm a wine expert now. So I'm going to do the little angel whisper. So what you do, you hold the cork. I got to stand up for this, y'all. So you hold the cork, and you want it to be as soft. I don't know. All right, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead. Got me some new cups here that I just bet. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video. And I believe we are on the number five thing on my list. So the number five thing that's on my list is a memorial stone that I'm going through is, um, so I don't know if I told you guys, I really don't talk too much about my kids and what they're going through. But for the last year, October 31st, this year will be a whole year that my daughter, who was 17, who's now 18 now, she started having seizures. Um, so we've been going through seizures for the last year. And I believe God gave me that just so I could learn how to lose control. I know you guys are like, what are you talking about? What do you mean? And I tell you, salut. Ooh. So what I mean by that, you guys, is I always, all my life, I always been in control of everything. What I eat, what I sleep, what I do, who, everything. I always try to be in control of everything. Um... When my daughter started having these seizures, that was something that I had to lose control. I had to really put God in control and just know that he was going to get us through. So like I said, we've been going. Whew. We've been going through these seizures for a year. It'd be a year on a Halloween. So I just feel like God gave me, gave me that. To go through with my daughter just so I could learn to come to him and then I could know that I can't control everything I can't control everything so I thank God that he opened my eyes to things that I can't control like my daughter having seizures so that's one thing I wanted to just let you guys know that's the number 15 on this list is just that I know it was something that was probably supposed to tear me down, and it probably would tear a lot of people down, but I used it as fuel. You know, my daughter still have seizures, but we are almost two months of not having seizures, so we're doing good. Um, still keeping him first place, still putting him first place, still using him all the time. So, yeah, that's the number 15 is just going through that so I could lose control. I could just lose control because I can't have control all the time. All right, so let's get down to the number six. All right, y'all. So we all on the number 16. That's on your girl's list. So the 16 that's on my list is God giving me this grandbaby that I'm about to have in February. Um, I believe God... Giving me this grandbaby is another reason why I'm breaking generation curses. Um, you know, just going through a lot of trauma that I went through and teenage pregnancy and all this good stuff. I believe that I'm getting a fourth chance with this grandbaby. So I believe that that's just the memorial stone that I had to overcome and breaking generational curses and start generational blessings and generational wealth what am i what, what i'm on right now that's my whole journey is just starting generational wealth for the generation after me so i believe god giving me this grandbaby that i'm about to have is just for me to finally break this generation curse that has been surrounding my family um so yeah that's the number 16, me having my grandbaby. I just found out the ginger today. Actually, my daughter-in-law father just takes me the ginger. So I'll be doing a ginger reveal in the next couple of weeks, 
probably the next couple of days because I know they want to find out. So as soon as I do the ginger reveal, I'll let y'all know. I know y'all want to know the ginger, but it's a secret. I can't tell anybody. So you guys going to have to wait. All right. So that is the number 16 guy giving me my grandbaby so I could break these generational curses and start these generational blessings. You feel me? All right, my little dynasty crew, we are on the seventh thing. The seventh thing that's on your girl list. And then I'm going to end this video like I always do with the best knowledge that I can give y'all. But the number seventh thing, you guys, I don't know if y'all know, if you guys watched any of my previous videos. But I do only have one daughter, one daughter that I birthed. I do have bonus daughters and god daughters, but only one daughter that I birthed. Um... And I have two boys. And out of my two boys and my one girl, my daughter is gay. Her. What I want to say? I want to put in the right words. I don't want to say the wrong thing. But her preference is women. So I believe God giving me a daughter who is attracted to the same sex that she is was a way for me. To love people unconditionally. Now what I mean by that folks. Is. When my daughter first came out to me. When she was 13 years old. And told me that she. Liked the girls. I was stunned. Of course. I was stunned. My only girl. But. At that point, at that time, all I could see was her loving unconditionally. And that opened my heart to love unconditionally. Not to see ginger, not to see color. I already didn't see ginger in color. But that just opened my eyes. It just opened my eyes to a whole nother world that I wasn't yet familiar with or used to. So, I believe God giving me a daughter who likes girls was a way for me to open up my mind, to be open-minded and open-hearted, to just show love no matter who you are, where you come from. So, that that's a memorial stone. That's the last one that I put on my list. And I put that on my list for a reason. Because her coming out to me and telling me that she was attracted to girls um, when she was 13, and she's 18 now, so it's been five years, I have seen a whole change in her. Um, she's the most confident little girl I have ever met. So I'm glad she came out to me. So that's just a memorial stone that I had to get over. I'm over it. We better. We bigger. It is what it is. You guys will see her sometimes on this video. You know, her girlfriend actually works with us at the restaurant too. So we're one big happy family. But other than that, I'm about to go ahead and end this video because I got a glass of rosé that I need to finish. And I need to edit a couple of videos. And yeah, that's it and that's all. So until the next video, you guys, like I say on all my videos, be you. Be you because it looks better. I'm telling you, if you wake up every morning and say, I'm just going to be me. I'm not going to be nobody else. I'm not going to try to be nobody else. I'm just going to be me. I'm telling you, you'll feel better. It'll look better. It'll smell good. So just be you. Be you. Alright? Be careful out there in them streets. Be careful at home. Be careful at work. Love yourself. Love God. Love your family. And until next time, y'all.